Welcome to Tech Quickie. Today we're going to show you how to install your Intel CPU using LGA 1156 or 1155 as fast as possible. The first step is to find the little golden triangle on your CPU and align that with either the little plastic triangle on the cover or once you've removed the cover, the metal triangle that is on the CPU socket itself. In the next step, push the retention arm lever down, pull away from the socket, and then it will loosen itself. You can then pull it up and move the hold down bracket out of the way. After that, remembering where the gold triangle points, place, don't press, place the CPU into the socket, giving it a slight wiggle just to ensure that it is seated correctly. Lower the hold down plate, making sure that it actually sits under this screw right here. Then lower the retention arm until you feel some resistance. Brace yourself because this does take a little bit of force. Push it down all the way, pull out, and then make sure that it's pinned by the hook on the retention plate. The heatsink included with your CPU comes with a quality thermal compound pre-applied. However, there is a trick with these push pin style heat sinks, and that is if you're reusing it, you not only need to reapply new thermal compound, but watch out for these arrows right here. You can see that they do rotate 90 degrees, so I'm gonna turn it in the direction of the arrow. Turning it the direction the arrow is pointed optimizes it for removal. Turning it away from that direction optimizes it for installation. So we wanna make sure they'll, they're all turned clockwise before we install it. When positioning the heatsink over the socket, make sure that the plastic pins stick through all four holes in the motherboard. The easiest way to check this is to rotate the heatsink a little bit and see if all of the pins move just like this. If they do, then they should all be through the holes. You also wanna make sure that you have enough slack on the CPU fan wire to reach the CPU fan header on your motherboard. The safest way to tighten the heatsink on is to apply force on opposite corners at the same time. There are two ways to tell that the installation was successful. Number one is to listen for the distinctive click. The other way is to flip the board over and make sure that the black plastic sticks out as far as the white plastic. If it doesn't, it's possible that you'll have to tighten it a little bit. There we go, now we heard the click. These Intel heat sinks often come with the fan wires wrapped in such a way that the fan blades can't move unless you loosen them. So take them out. What I often do is twist them up, tuck them away somewhere safe, and then plug them into the labeled CPU fan header on the motherboard. Thanks for checking out this episode of Fast as Possible. Make sure you subscribe to Tech Quickie and also like the video, it helps us out a lot. Share this video with anyone who you think would benefit from it, including embedding it on your website. Consider this my go ahead to, well, go ahead. Also, if you can think of any other Fast as Possible episodes that you'd like to see, click the link in the description to post in the forum thread. We will monitor that and we will make sure that we check it out. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.